Good evening, it's Wednesday, April 3, 2019, here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim, and here's all you need to know in News Bits tonight. Re-electionist Mandawi City Mayor Luigi Kisumbing has described the refusal of his opponent, Congressman Jonas Cortez, to attend a public debate as a cowardly act. Here's Chari Coronel for the details. After inviting local candidates from Cebu City to join the public debate organized by the Integrated Bar of the Philippines Cebu City Chapter, another round of public debate is up for the local bets in Mandawi City. The IBP Cebu Chapter and Young Lawyers Association of Cebu, or WILAC, invited the candidates running for mayor and vice mayor in Mandawi City to a debate. Incumbent Mandawi City Mayor Luigi Kisumbing and his running mate, Vice Mayor Carlo Fortuna, accepted the invitation. However, his opponent, Congressman Jonas Cortez, and running mate Glenn Berced refused to join the debate. This prompted Kisumbing to call it a cowardly act. But Attorney Jamal Kalipayan, Chief of Staff of Cortez, said in a Facebook post that he advised Cortez and Berced not to join the debate if there are no big issues to discuss on. He said Cortez camp has nothing to prove, especially that the Mandawi voters already know their plan and programs. For the camp of Kisumbing, a public debate is a good avenue for the candidates to propose their platforms. Meanwhile, two candidates for mayor and one for vice mayor in Cebu City have confirmed their participation in the public debate. Cebu City Mayor Tomas Osmeña and running mate Councillor Mary Ann de los Santos both said they are up to the challenge. Cebu City Vice Mayor Edgardo Labella, who is running as mayor under PDP Laban, said he is also willing to participate in the debate. Debate. But his running mate, Mike Rama, said he will still discuss it with his group. The IBP Cebu City will hold a public debate on April 22 at the Cebu City Sports Club. Charlie Coronel, News Beats Tonight. The Social Security System, or SSS, has said the increase in members' contributions will be used to provide better benefits. SSS Acting Media Affairs Head Mary Rose Francisco said the primary source of SSS funds is the contributions, but the agency is looking for other ways to grow its funds. Last March 19, SSS announced that the increase in contribution rates from 11 to 12 percent will be implemented starting April 1. Francisco said there would be another 1 percent increase in the members' contributions by 2021. The rate will be 13 percent by then. She urged the members not to take the contributions they need to pay as a burden because SSS contributions are a form of savings. More news stories in Newsbiz tonight after this short break. SM Supermalls joined the Sabuana community in the observance of Earth Hour last March 30. Here's Joshua Solano for the details. SM City Cebu, SM Seaside City Cebu, SM City Consolation, and SM Hypermarket Lapu-Lapu City took part in the symbolic hour-long switching off of lights. Now on its 11th year with SM, Earth Hour's worldwide theme for 2019 was hashtag connect to Earth a global campaign that aimed to highlight the importance of nature. The theme focused on biodiversity and sought to raise awareness of climate change and to get the community involved in caring for the environment and all living species. SM Mall switched off 100% of its lights, including the SM logos, drop-down banners, billboards, pylon towers, landscapes, and 50% of the lights of the hallways and tenants. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources and the Department of Energy lauded SM Mall's participation in the global initiative. As a responsible mall developer, SM ensures that its corporal social responsibility programs serve as a catalyst for positive change in the communities that it supports. Joshua Solano, Newsbits Tonight.
Here's the latest sports update with intern Romar Bulong. The Thunder's point guard, Russell Westbrook, has made history by achieving 20 points, 21 assists, and 20 rebounds over their 119-103 win against Lakers. Westbrook joined Will Chamberlain as the only recorded player to achieve 20-20-20 game. Westbrook said he dedicated his game to his friend, the late rapper Nipsey Hussle, who was shot and killed on Sunday. He started off unsuccessful with his shots during the opening quarter, but started contributing rebounds and assists during the end of the first quarter. Oklahoma City's win marks their third win in their last 10 games, while also making it Los Angeles' second loss in the last six games they played. Romar Bulong, News Bits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Good evening.